brush blending. I want to show you a very interesting technique, one of my favorites that adds a lot of depth and dimension to a single color coat. It actually applies a, more of an antique burnish. Here are the materials you will need to complete this project. This is an example of a door that I stained with Cabernet. You can use any stain. Ideally, when you add the antiquing application, you want to use a little darker stain. The darker stain can actually be an ebony wood stain or it could be the black antiquing glaze, either one. Just make sure it's a little darker color tone than what you originally start with. Pick your favorite color as a base color. Apply that, let it dry. Apply a coat of poly. And once that's dry, I normally use the fine grit sandpaper, something like 320 grit or fine grade uh, pad sandpaper. Gently sand in the direction of the wood. And this is simply just to remove all the nibs and, and trash or debris that may have settled in the film. For this application, I'm using an ebony or black antiquing stain. I apply this liberally overall. I'm covering the entire surface. Making sure that I get stain in all the grooves and crevices. Now with this particular stain, I'm not really allowing for a lot of penetration because I've got a seal coat on top of that by using the poly. Once I apply the stain, I get good coverage overall. Let me make sure I get the edges. Then I'll begin to do what's called a soft wipe. So it's just like wiping a regular wood stain, but in this case, instead of scrubbing it, I only want to do a very soft wipe. I want to take off portions at a time. And what that does is it allows the stain to hang up naturally in the crevices and creates a beautiful burnished edge. I'll take a brush and simply smooth that out. This is a technique we call brush blending that moves the stain around and, and blends the second stain color, the antiquing stain color. And once I've achieved the color that I want, I'm always brushing in the direction of the grain and making sure that I'm pushing the stain in all the crevices. And once that's done, I'm using a product called Steel Wool that can be acquired at any hardware store. And it typically comes in a roll like this. So I ball it up and gently, I wanna concentrate on the center portion of the panel because all I wanna do is pull out the undertone color, leaving the natural burnishing of the second stain that I applied. I'm wooling in the direction of the grain, taking off exactly what I want. It's so simple to do. If you take off too much, reapply, do it again. Do a final brush just to smooth everything out. And there's your results.